Okay, this is the uh, elevating sleeve. This is our third test with it. The, we started to um, kind of fine tune some of the requirements that we were looking for out of this uh, performance. Previous tests, we showed that we had capacity. We uh, exceeded expectations with regard to how much this, this system will hold and, and build pressure to. Uh, this time, we wanted to get, make sure we got all the air out, so we, so we moved the, the discharge port up to, so that the top of the inside is at the top of the sleeve. We, we reconfigured our, our uh, sleeve uh, in order to get the, um, all of this work, top, the valve work top side so it could be viewed and, and surveyed top side. Um, in doing that, we, had, we used to have a pile cap insert ring that we, we integrated into this fabricated spool piece. So now we'll have the cutoff pile down here. We'll fill the pile with grout, put a cap on it that has the same bolt pattern as this. And we'll, we will um, insert this compressed assembly in and then, and then extend it and weld the top of the elevating sleeve to the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the slab above. There's a embedded cast in place steel plate 24 by 24 on all but one row of the dock that we're talking about. So this would this would be welded to that to that prior to pumping it with grout. So and then we'll utilize a pressure gauge on this valve to demonstrate when we uh, met our design force requirement. So we have, we put a gauge on here that is not going to be indicative to each pile, but just to show for this test. It's got a diaphragm gauge. We filled it with grease out to the inside of the, the pressure thing. We've had problems with this gauge in the past, get full of, uh, get clogged up. So we're hoping we don't get clogged today. We have a load cell here, calibrated load cell. It's a hundred ton load cell that we, uh, that we'll have, the certificates will be on uh, with the paper that we write up for this. Uh, these are not the valves we're going to use. Um, we're going to condense this arrangement down. Um, we just modified the, the old valves to the bigger pump to accommodate the, the grout pump that we're using. So turn around. So we had a, we were using a concrete pump in the past. Concrete pump generated too much power or too much, uh, too much pressure. It was rated up for 625 PSI. This pump is rated to 174 psi, but we're not. We're going to keep it way below that. The goal is to keep this line pressure at around 50 psi. And the way we're going to achieve that is we're going to reduce the flow. It's a hydraulic gear operator. We're going to reduce the flow and keep the pressure down so that we can. Uh, the goal would be to slowly inject pressure into this sleeve so that we get to around 50 psi or so inside the sleeve, and then we'll calculate that maybe. 10 to 15 thousand pounds of force up on the, on the load cell. And that's it. Okay. Go ahead and give me some, uh, give me a little bit of up. Uh, See if we can watch the pressure gauge go. A little pressure. Uh, we're going to see. 10,000 pounds. Let's throw on 10,000 pounds. Okay. Well, well, now, this is nice. Keep going. A little bit more. No, no, no. There's 2350. Keep going. This is perfect. We're going to go up to 10,000. Done. Close the valve. 